Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwebin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to remove the caps lock icon from the Mac OS Sonoma. So as you might be aware, beginning with the Mac OS 14 version, if the caps lock key is enabled on the keyboard, then you will see a caps lock icon in every text field. So if you want to remove, as you could see, every time you type a new word or an alphabet, the caps lock will, key will be there and until and unless you turn off the caps lock, you will see the key there. So this is an, a useless addition to the OS. So in this video, we'll show you how to remove this key. So let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to open the terminal window. For that, let's go to Launchpad and go to Others, then launch the terminal. In my case, as you could see, there are few other commands. Simply ignore that. It should not be there on your command window. So simply ignore them. As of now, your first course of action is to type in this command so we are making a directory inside the library folder library preferences inside this folder we will make a directory which is feature flag and followed by the domain folder so just copy paste this entire command so let me do that let's copy the command from here and then paste the command here since it's a sudo command you will have to type in your password as well so hit enter and type in the password. So let me do that and then I will just hide the keyboard just a minute. So with this, the password has been entered and currently the cache log is on as you could see. So now you will have to execute the second line of command. In this line of command, we will be adding this line, read design text cursor enabled boolean false. That is, we will be hiding the caps lock icon and we will then add this line to the new file which we are going to make inside the domain folder which is this domain folder we are going to make a new file name as uikit.plist and inside this file we will be adding this line of command so all you have to do is simply copy this command and again paste it in the win terminal window paste it here and hit enter so as you could see file does not exist it will create the file so once that is done, once you have executed both the commands, the first and the second command, your task stands complete. Now you have to do a restart of your Mac. This restart is compulsory. So let me do a restart and then I'll show the result as well. So guys, we have just done a restart. And as you could see currently, the cache lock is on. So let's not test out the result. So open the text file or any text field and now as you could see we are no longer getting the cache lock icon so all you have to do is just open the terminal window and simply copy paste these two lines of command once you do so then you will be able to hide the cache lock icon on your mac os sonoma let's now move ahead and show you the second method this is using a javascript and this is quite complicated so it's not recommended so the best way of doing so using the terminal itself but if you want you may go through the javascript as well and after using the javascript you could go through my guide and check out the script and run the script as well but as of now it's highly recommended that you only use the terminal window so with that said let's now move ahead and show you the method on how you could bring back the change or revert the change in other words bring back the cache lock key icon so as of now since i have told you that we will be making a new directory under the feature flag section or under the preference folder. We have made a new directory which is the feature flags domain. So we could simply remove this directory and then the cache lock key will be back. So as you could see even in the terminal window, we have got a message that the file that does not exist will create. So it has made a new directory. So all you have to do is simply remove the feature flags and the domain file folder or you could simply remove the UI kit dot playlist file as well and this should also get the job done so there are quite a few ways of doing so let's first open the finder window and so let me open the finder window and from here let's access the preferences folder so first and foremost you have to go to library then go to preferences so from here you should now see the feature flag folder as you could see then see the domain folder and inside the domain folder this is the 
UI get dot PLS file as you could see. So if we open this PLS file, so just let me show you. So inside this PLS file is the command that we have added read design text cursor enabled false. So as you could see over here, so you could simply remove this PLS file and your task will stand complete. Or you could also let me show you just delete the file. If you want, you could take a backup of this file as well. And let's paste it here as a backup. It will ask you for the password. So let me enter the password and then I'll sh show you that as well. So with this, simply I have taken a backup of the U UI kit playlist file. And as of now, I am not removing the domain folder. I am simply removing this file UI kit playlist file. So if you go ahead and remove this file, so just hit the command delete and again, you will have to type in the password. So let me do that as well. So with this, we have removed the UI get playlist file. Now you will again have to do a restart and upon a restart, you will get the caps lock icon back. So let me show you that as well. So guys, we have just removed the playlist file and as of now, we should get back the caps lock icon. So let's verify the same. So let me open a text file and as you could see the cap lock icon is also there. The cap lock key is turned on and now as you could see the cap lock icon is also there. So with this we have got back the cap lock icon. So in this video I have shown you both the steps on how to remove the cap lock icon as well as how to get it back. You could simply remove this entire folder as well the feature flag folder but it's not recommended. Instead simply remove the UI get playlist file or a much better approach will be to simply make a backup first and then remove it because in some case if you want that file back then you could simply get it back by using the backup option. So as you could see in my case I did a backup by simply copying and pasting the file. So a much better approach will be to simply copy and transfer the file somewhere else and then remove the file and with this if at any point you want to revert the change then you could simply paste the file inside the domain folder and you will get back the catalog icon. So guys on that note I round off this video. If you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.